Hi, Gine. Hi, Johan. It's great to see you again. Yeah, great seeing you. Thanks for coming all the way down here to uh, participate in this project, the Acoustic Love Sessions. So I wanted to ask you, it's a, it's a very stripped down, minimalistic, uh, almost dogmatic aesthetic mm -hmm. with uh, just uh, live performances, no click, no electric instruments. So it's, uh, it's a little bit unusual, it's a little bit risky. And uh, I wanted to ask you, why did you uh, accept this challenge? What, did, what do you like about the format? And well, I think um, I mostly just play acoustic. I don't really use any like tracks. Um, so for me, it's very natural to yeah. just play the music the way, the way it is. I think that's what's really beautiful about this format. And that's how you write your own yeah. songs as well. And it's wonderful when, when singers can accompany themselves, and uh, especially when they're as good a guitar player as, as you are. You're really a, a wonderful instrumentalist. So. Thanks. I started playing the guitar and then I wanted to write some songs. So I started singing, but I had the, like, I played guitar first. And do you still consider yourself to be more of a guitar player than a singer, or...? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Just because that's how I laid the foundation. Yeah. Um, how I learned about uh, music. But I think maybe other people see me more as a singer now, or a songwriter. Yeah. But I really, really enjoy doing both and uh, being the music. Let's talk about the, the song. Mm -hmm. we, we offered a few different songs, mm -hmm. uh, like we did with all the participants, and, uh, and you uh, happened to choose this uh, song by The Weeknd, mm -hmm. uh, Blinding Lights. Uh, what, what appealed to you? I think, first of all, it's just a really good song. It has a really good melody. Yeah. And um, I, even though I really like the production on the original yeah. track, I think um, it would be cool to see how much can the the melody uh, do if you take it out of the really production yeah. track. Yeah, because it's really heavily produced. Yeah, like, really, really. Lots of reverbs and synths. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's two different planets yeah. almost. I think it's a it's a really nice song. I, it has a kind of like carefree approach to love yeah. or to infatuation and. On the oh, lyrics side? Yeah, yeah, the lyrics. And when, when we talked, I just think that that kind of resonated with me in yeah. the moment. So I was just like, ah, this song. Oh, great. Yeah. And he's a great singer too, I think, The yeah. weekend He he delivers it in a very convincing way in yeah. the original version. He's so, so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and really kind of let that soul R&B vibe. Yeah. So I think that's also like that soulful thing. I think you could take it to a more uh, stripped down approach. Yeah, I think one of the particular things is the, the tuning. Uh, there's some uh, open tuning, uh, particular guitar tuning that, uh, that we've used for the song. Is that something you've done before? Because I know, I mean, our dear friend, uh, Asker Jacobi, the, the guitar player who plays along with you on, on the track and yeah. who is also your label manager and kind of a musical hero yeah. for, for both <laughs> of us. Yeah. Well, Aske showed it to me maybe a few years ago. I knew of the tuning, but I haven't really like dug deep into it. I haven't yeah. really played f an entire song with yeah. that tuning. It was his idea, hey, let's do it in this tuning, because then we'll just use our ears. It will be a more open sound than like really knowing, because I don't really know the, the fretboard with this tuning. Yeah, because all these shapes and the notes yeah. go in different places, and you so it's like a new instrument. Yeah, basically. and yeah. it's like new chords. So so yeah, Eski showed me a couple of, hey, do this. This is cool. Try this, and then, like he did uh, most of the, the guitars, yeah. and then he like taught me how, how to uh, approach this tuning. And uh, and for the hook, which is really uh, like the, the, the melodic synthesizer mm. hook. We were looking for a, a particular sound and, um, and we ended up going with the banjo. Mm. <laughs> Is, was that okay with you? Yeah, I think so. It's, I think it, there would have been more um, like obvious choices yeah. than a banjo, but I kind of like it because it's rural kind of vibe. 
Yeah, it's particular. Mm. Cool. But I think uh, maybe we should get to it then. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs>